You can't do a one hand push up. Are you serious? I bet you I can do 20. Got longer arms than you. Oh, get over here. You do not have longer arms than me. I might have longer Come over here and put your arm out. Let's see. Let's get a measuring chip. Let's, actually oh, do let's a measure push. it. Let's do yeah. it okay. All right. By how much? An inch is not going to mean my, your zero to 20 matters. I bet I got an inch on you. Okay. So measure me up. So we're going from? every inch of arm length is 20 push ups on one arm. That's what you're saying right now. I'm saying an inch, an inch matters a lot when it comes to where am I where am I shot in the measure? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. That's in my armpit. All right. By the longest longest one. Don't let him cheat, Leo. Okay, put that in your armpit. I'm a little sweaty. That's all right. I know you're nervous around me. You're nervous around me. Don't try to go. I didn't okay. go way up there. I held it right here. Don't go try to okay, like well, shove the I, whole I didn't thing know in what there. You did. <laughs> you're not even an inch. Look at this, you're like four centimeters. <laughs> you have longer arms. Oh my gosh. That is such bullshit. Oh. No. Didn't you do that? Yeah, I did this. Is that what he does? That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. We should practice that. Hey everyone, welcome to Skycast episode six. Happy Friday. Um, we got a pretty packed agenda today. We'll jump so. right into it, guys. Yeah. Uh, the 22-day 22, 22 push-up challenge came to an end yesterday. Uh, first, big shout out to Patrick for organizing the whole thing, pushing everyone. Great job, Patrick. Yeah. Um, there was a few individuals that completed all 22 days, Patrick obviously being one. TC, Taylor, Jen, Josh, Kayla, and Linda. Congratulations, guys. We're taking all of you to lunch today. So pick your favorite spot, and I'll be there with you. Are we, I thought we, were, we already had a spot picked out. Um, we have some options. Okay. Yeah. Thought I was gonna get you know my favorite spot, but mm -hmm. it's not about me. It's about them. All right. Exactly. Uh, Tony Robbins, guys. Nothing much to say there for those who who came and, and, and were there with your friends. That was a, an amazing time for I think all of us. There was a, a lot of takeaways. What I want to do is I want you guys to put in the comments here in YouTube what your number one takeaway was. Just number one takeaway. What was it? We're always curious, and we want to always try to you know make sure you're the best version of yourself, and maybe we can help you uh, with some of those takeaways that you you, you noticed. What was yours? There's a lot, man. Give me one. I mean, there's, it's like children. You can't just pick one. No one is your favorite. You know what I mean? Mine personally, I love how Tony Robbins talks about how living is growth. You don't stay in the same spot. That's not living. Living is, is pushing yourself. It's the same thing we're preaching. It's the same reason we want you guys to go there. That seemed like a very big theme and a takeaway that I had, something he emphasized, which was cool to see. There's a lot of takeaways for me. I don't look, there's a lot of, guys, I can pick out 50 business takeaways and I'm trying to change that because that's an obvious and easy answer for me to give. I think a personal takeaway was when he was blaming, right? If you're gonna blame him for this, you need to blame him for that. Love you know? that. And, and so blame for the good and blame for the bad. Love that. I think that for me personally was, uh, was a really big takeaway. I was like, wow, you know, you look back at life, it makes you analyze your life and the things that you, as you grew up and, and uh, I, I could have given you guys a ton of business stuff, but personally that was, that was my biggest takeaway by far. Loved it. Uh, Guys, we want to start a piece here, and uh, maybe Christine can help us name this, like she helped us name SkyCast, but yep. we want to talk about what's inspiring us. What are we yep. reading? What are we listening to? We want to share that with you guys. Feel free to obviously hop on and do some, listen to some of the same things. Um, and so this week, we wanted to emphasize there's a big announcement from Tesla's Elon Musk. Um, we both read his biography, which we'd highly recommend. We both flew through this behemoth of a book. Yep. Uh, and guys, you, you, you have the benefit through us, through Amazon, and guess what? Koji, after this, should see a lot of orders for Elon Musk. Because I'm telling you, this book was phenomenal. I was originally uh, referred to it by Mike Zagaris, who has a Tesla. Mike Zagaris bought a Tesla because he read this book. Crazy. And the book is awesome. If you buy the audio version, the audio version is pretty awesome Great. as well. Um, it's super inspiring. So. so they made a big announcement this week, guys, because I'm not sure if you know, but, but Elon Musk, about every, was it 10 years, he kind of lays out the next 10 years of his company and he forecasts out and makes a lot of bold predictions and it's really inspiring. His last 10 year mark came 100% to fruition. So it was awesome yep. to see. So he just announced his, his next 10 year mark. Highly recommend. Lou will give you a link in the show notes for, um, to, to that segment. Yeah, and, and guys, it, it, what it tells us is technology is evolving so fast and really whatever you thought would never be possible is truly possible. And I'll just give you a little, a little excerpt from it is, is it talked about um, self-driving cars, full self-driving cars, 100%. You guys, as they know, right now, Tesla has autopilot. 
um, that's in beta. He's talking about full self-driving cars. So he says you're gonna be able to have on your phone as an owner of Tesla, and you can click a button that says share car and the car will drive to destinations and pick up people like Uber. And while you're working, because we see, guys, my car sits there for eight, 10 hours a day, right? It will actually be, I'll be making money on that. And so that's one of a ton of things he put in there. It's super exciting. Um, it just blows my mind, this guy. One of our biggest takeaways of it, guys, is it's our responsibility of the leaders of this company yep. to ensure you know the vision and mission of the company at all times. Yep. And so we want to do a litmus test, see how well we're doing in that. So Emily's going to shoot out a form later this afternoon, and what I want you guys to put down is what you believe is the top three goals for SkySlope yep. right now. Top three goals, simple, sweet, yeah. short. You'll be getting that this afternoon. There. We'd love everyone to participate. It's up to you, though. It's optional, but we'd love to hear what your, what your perspective is on that. Um, EADs coming down the pipe really quick, guys. We're super excited about this. Um, Koji's putting in a lot of work. You're seeing him coming in early, staying late, and it's all to make sure that day goes without a hitch. Um, you know we made a lot of big announcements last year. There's not much we can do to top on the announcement front, but I'm telling you right now, we're gonna blow you away with the experience. It's all about making sure you guys know how appreciated you are, how valued, how loved you are. A lot of questions came in, a lot of shout outs. Two shout outs, one is going to be to Rob, Ryan, and Mike. Um, we got a, a couple different emails from, from the Realty One Group folks and talked about how great it was to work with you guys um, on the SSO, how fast it was delivered, how you're able to, to, to help them out. They went through some internal issues with their, their development team. And uh, of course, Skyslope stepped it up and, and, and took over and helped them. So Rob, Ryan, Mike, a great job on that. Um, and then the second shout out is to Brian. First off, Brian does so much in the company. Um, but guys, check this out. This is super cool. Brian, which I didn't even know this, he is his, he's uh, created instructions for us and for clients to leverage for Spanish speakers that use our tools. So Brian, one, we, we Brian's always crushing, it, man. This is just another example of it. Congrats, Brian. Nice yeah, job, man. Really pumped up. Um, I think that's it. What else am I missing? I think that's it. First Anything? take. First, yeah, I know, right? I was gonna stop halfway and be like, ah, just stop, just the energy was high. Yeah. Skycast out. Skycast out. We're done. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye guys.